Walker Buehler made six starts against the Rockies in 2018, pitching to a 2.15 era and an 0.93 whip in the process. Photo by USA Today Sports Walker Buehler made six starts against the Rockies in 2018, pitching to a 2.15 era and an 0.93 whip in the process. Photo by USA Today Sports The Blue Jays, with their terrible early game hitting and strong starting pitching have been a first five total betters dream. Plus, will an old trend show up in Colorado? We break down the odds for those matchups and more and give our best bets in MLB Daily Line Drive. Double play picks Toronto Blue Jays at Cleveland Indians minus 197.5 These birds have not been getting the worms so to speak. Yes, the Toronto Blue Jays bats continue to struggle early in games and things could continue as they continue their series in Cleveland today. Toronto is now a woeful 6 for 77 with 4 whacks the first time through the batting order this season. And the result? The under first half total is 7-0-1 in Jays games this season. It would have been 8-0 if not for a 2-out double in the bottom of the fifth last night. It won't get any easier today against Cleveland starter Carlos Carrasco. The veteran right-hander is much better than his opening start, not having an era higher than 3.63 over the last five seasons. He also has a 2.67 era and 42 strikeouts against the Jays over the last three seasons, four starts. And that's when they were good. But what makes this trend so viable is the Jays starters. They rank second in the MLB with a 1.61 era this season. Southpaw Thomas Pannoni makes his first start of the season today, but came in as a long reliever on April 1st, pitching four innings of one-hit shutout ball against Baltimore. Pannoni has recorded a quality start in in four of his six career starts, one of them being against Cleveland last Sept. Nine where he allowed two runs on four hits in 6.1 innings pitched. The lefty also has a career 1.19 whip. Things are set up nicely for this trend to continue. Pick under four first five innings, 105 Los Angeles Dodgers vs Colorado Rockies, 125, 10. Well, the Rocky Mountain low trend did not make a return in the Colorado Rockies home opener, as they got thumped by the Los Angeles Dodgers 10-6 yesterday. The Rocky Mountain low trend refers to the profitable way the under went 2-9-1-4-1-67.4% in the Rockies' last 44 games at Coors Field last season. This was due to the Rockies' pitchers getting comfortable in the thin mountain air, allowing just 3.6 runs per game over that stretch. John Gray gets the call today for the Rockies, who pitched better at Coors Field than away from it and is coming off a quality start in his opener, allowing three runs on five hits while punching out ten. The Dodgers counter with Walker Buehler. The 24-year-old right-hander is going to want to bounce back after getting touched up in his first start of the season and the Rockies could be the perfect opponent for that. Bueller actually made six starts against the Rockies in 2018, pitching to a 2.15 era and an 0.93 whip in the process. The under is also 5-0 in Gray's last five home starts versus Dodgers and 3-0-1 in Bueller's last four starts versus Rockies. We know the Dodgers' bats are hot, but we like the Rocky Mountain low trend to make a triumphant return today. Pick under 10 yesterday's picks, 1 to 1 season to date, 8 1 0, want even more free MLB picks? CWHO Hour covers experts are on today. Streaking and slumping starters, streaking Trevor Williams, Pittsburgh Pirates, 1 to 0. 0, 0.00 Eric, $120, Williams picked up right where he left off last season, throwing a six inning gem against the Reds, limiting them to no runs on three hits and six punch outs. It was Williams' 10th quality start in his last 13 tries. Williams takes the mound once again against the Reds today, this time in Pittsburgh, where the Pirates are minus 120 faves with a total of 8. 
slumping Dylan Bundy, Baltimore Orioles, 0-0, 7.36 air up $270, it was more of the same old for Bundy in his first start of the season. The right-hander allowed three runs on two hits and five walks in 3.2 innings pitched against the same Yankees squad he goes up against today. The only difference was the Orioles came back to win that game. Baltimore has a long shot to win this time around on the board as 165 home underdogs with a total of 8.5. Weather watch three strikes blazing bullpen the Rays relievers finally gave up some runs yesterday. Two to be exact, pushing their bullpen era to a now unacceptable 1.16. Still best in the bigs by a wide margin. Today is an opener day for the Rays with reliever Ryan Stanek beginning the game. Stanek has allowed one hit while striking out five in four innings pitched so far this season. The amazing bullpen has resulted in the Rays going 0-7-1-0, you this season and even with the low number of 7 against the Giants today, they are still a good bet to go under once again. Saturday's top consensus think you can make better MLB bets. Prove it, and win prizes in one of our free contests.